The third thing that you learn in the valley is you learn to trust God's protection. David could not protect himself. He couldn't protect himself from Absalom. He had no army to protect him anymore because he's now deserted his kingdom. And Absalom is now coming against him. He learned, I've got to trust God. He's my rod. He's my staff. He's, he's, he's going to protect me. Psalm 61, verse 3. For you are my protector, my strong defense against my enemies. Then David learned to trust God's prodding as he went through the wilderness. You know, if you're not careful, you can stop in the wilderness and get stuck in a wilderness. I've known many people in life who were making their way through a wilderness and then they just sort of stopped there. They got stuck in the wilderness. They got stuck in self-pity and stuck in, in discouragement and, and stuck in, in some kind of emotional uh, cloud of life. And so they're stuck right now, right, right in that place of the wilderness and they're not moving forward anymore. And so God has to come along and prod you to keep you going. See, what you don't want to do is you don't want to stop in the midst of a valley. If you're going through a valley, somebody said just keep going. That's the best thing you can do when you go through a valley. Don't stop. Don't say, you know what, I'm going to camp here. Just keep going. And God, by his rod and by his staff, that's what a good shepherd's staff would do with a sheep. It would prod them and keep them moving forward so they didn't get, get stuck in the wrong and bad place. See, the valley is not where you're supposed to live. It's a transition point to something else in your life.